Remember the very first Samsung Galaxy Note? It was definitely an unusual handset, loved by some but ridiculed by others because of its large screen. Yet it eventually gained traction, paving the way for Samsung's Note lineup of devices to emerge and to become the easily recognizable brand it is today. This is Nick with Phone Arena, bringing you a preview of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, the latest smartphone in the company's series. It is a solid upgrade to last year's model, bringing a faster processor, upgraded camera and an even larger display, all packed in a handset that's thinner and lighter than the Note 2. The S Pen has also been redesigned and it's now even more functional. Now that we have your attention already, let's take a closer look at what the Galaxy Note 3 has to offer. Just keep in mind that the unit we have here is just a prototype, so the appearance, the performance and the operation of certain features might differ from what we may see on the retail Note 3 unit. So as we already stated, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is thinner and lighter than the Note 2, even though it comes with a screen that is larger by a fifth of an inch. As a result, the new model is indeed more compact. The difference isn't vast, but we can definitely feel it while holding the two side by side. And speaking of holding the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, we can confirm that operating it with a single hand is a challenge compared to using a phone of average size. But that's pretty much a given with handsets of this caliber, so we wouldn't mind accepting Samsung's new phablet as it is. Holding the Note 3 in one hand, while navigating through the interface with the other or using the S Pen is the typical user scenario for this device. There's an option, however, to shrink the keyboard or dialer right or left so you can type a quick text reply or call a number with one hand only. We were genuinely surprised to see Samsung taking a different approach to designing the exterior of the phone. The company has picked a leather-like design for the back plate with stitching elements around the edges. Although the back of the Galaxy Note 3 is actually made of plastic, it looks fancy and sophisticated, while the soft touch finish does remind us of real leather as we run our fingers across its surface. As usual, Samsung has opted for a removable back cover underneath which we find the user-replaceable battery, as well as the SIM and microSD card slots. The buttons present on the Note 3 are all easy to feel and press with very good tactile feedback and that goes for the trademark physical home key underneath the display as well. The menu and back keys, placed alongside the home key, are of the capacitive kind. For those who aren't familiar with it, the S Pen is an advanced digital stylus and one of the prime standout features of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. By advanced we mean that it's much more precise than a regular capacitive stylus you'd find at a dollar store. The S Pen is capable of detecting minute variations of pressure, creating strokes of variable width as you write. Furthermore, the tip of the stylus can be detected even if it's just hovering above the screen of the phone, which results in more precise drawings and selections. By pressing a button located on the side of the S Pen, the user is given access to extra features, which we're about to tell you more about in a little bit. A clever addition is the option to have the phone sound an alert in case the S Pen isn't nearby, just in case the accessory is misplaced. The S Pen fits firmly in its dedicated slot. It is easier to take out and slide back in than before, but it doesn't blend seamlessly with the phone's design anymore, as a little bit of it protrudes out of the housing. The accessory is light and long enough to be held and used comfortably, although lefties might find its placement on the right rather annoying. The front of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is graced by a gorgeous 5.7 inch display. The resolution is of course 1080 by 1920 pixels, as is the trend with high-end devices right now. Everything shown on the display looks nice, smooth and detailed. Color representation is on the overly saturated side by default, which is something typical for Super AMOLED panels, and that's ok because some users do dig exaggerated colors on their smartphone's screen. We, however, find the so-called professional photo screen mode much more pleasing to the eye with its much truer color reproduction. There are several of these modes to choose from in addition to the adapt display regime which automatically tweaks the screen's settings depending on what's being displayed. The display is pretty bright for a Super AMOLED panel though still far from the best LCD units in that respect. Nevertheless, outdoor visibility is aided by the very low reflectance ratio under direct sunlight and the deep black levels make elements more distinct when plenty of diffused lighting is present outside. 
Even on a bright sunny day we could use the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 without much effort, as long as the sunlight wasn't reflected straight at our eyes. As usual we have impressive viewing angles thanks to the OLED technology, with little color shifting and sufficient brightness retained even when the handset is tilted to the extremes. Samsung has not forgotten to add some extra sensitivity to the touchscreen of the Note 3, thus making it usable even while the user is wearing gloves. Interestingly, the sensitivity of the panel is adjusted automatically, meaning that there is no need for the user to set it manually. The latest TouchWiz user interface by Samsung is painted over Android 4.3 on the Galaxy Note 3, and at a glance it looks exactly like what you'd see on other Samsung high-ends. We find nothing wrong with that, of course, as the company's interface comes loaded with plenty of cool tricks up its sleeve. One of them, called Multi-Window, takes great advantage of that extra screen real estate. It allows you to have two apps open at the same time, each of them displayed in a window of its own. What's more is that on the Note 3, the same app can be opened twice, which means you are free to have two IM conversations open simultaneously, for example. Another feature we quite like is My Magazine, powered by Flipboard. Think of it as a smart RSS reader for your newsfeed, but integrated into the user interface. And by integrated we mean you can launch it with an upward swipe from the bottom of the home screen, just like you would trigger Google Now on a stock Android device. Some minor yet noteworthy extras like Air View, Air Gestures, Smart Pause and Smart Scroll are also present. Since the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 comes equipped with an infrared blaster, it can be used to control various home appliances such as the TV or home entertainment system, which is pretty awesome. We find the on-screen keyboard on the Note 3 more comfortable to type on using two thumbs as it is pretty wide. Alternatively, there is the swiping method at your disposal as well, in addition to the handwriting recognition mode, which is actually the slowest input method of all, in our opinion. Typos can be corrected automatically as you go, but if you don't want autocorrect messing with your texts, feel free to turn it off. The Samsung Galaxy Note 3 comes with an enhanced S Pen stylus, which is now more feature-rich than ever. As before, the accessory will be recognized by the phone as you hover over the screen with it, rendering a small dot on the UI. What's new, however, is that pressing the button on the S Pen displays a menu with a list of several new S Pen-related features. Here's what's new. First we have Action Memo. Think of this as an upgraded S Memo application, it is capable of reading your handwriting and, for example, if you scribble the name and phone of someone you just met, the app can intelligently create a new contact in your address book using that input. You may also shoot them an email or a text message instantly, assuming this information is provided in the note. That's a cool idea as a whole, but it requires you to give all your trust to the software's ability to recognize your handwriting accurately. Scrapbooker is used for collecting bits and pieces of images from various sources. You can crop content from the web browser, YouTube videos, even part of the phone's interface and organize them in a single note. Text can be added to these notes as well. This can be useful for taking visual notes or even for starting your personal diary. ScreenWrite will take a snapshot of your screen and will allow you to add comments or simply scribble away on top of it. Simple as that. S Finder is of course used to find stuff. Name whatever you're looking for and the feature will search through the handwritten content saved on the phone and the memo application. It lists search results through not only notes, but also in your music, gallery or video library. Pen Window is a feature for launching apps in a small window. These apps include the calculator, the address book, messaging app and more. Basically, you draw a rectangle with the area where you'd like this app to appear. A smartphone of this class deserves to be powered by a top-of-the-line processor. In the Note 3's case, the silicon of choice will vary from one market to another. The LTE-capable version will get the Snapdragon 800 system on chip and its 2.3GHz quad-core CPU, while the non-LTE model will sport a 1.9GHz octa-core Exynos 5 chip. We have the Snapdragon 800 model on our hands and boy this thing is fast. To sum it all up, we have yet to witness a single hint of lag. The performance of the device is just flawless no matter how much we push it. Multitasking is also silky smooth, which comes as no surprise given the whopping 3GB of RAM tucked under the hood. There is plenty of storage on board the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. 
surely enough to store tons of music, photos, applications and hours of high definition video. 32 and 64 GB models will be made available, with the option to add extra space using a micro SD card of up to 64 GB. And if that's not enough, Samsung is treating Note 3 buyers to 50 GB of free Dropbox storage for two years, which is ideal for backing up important files to the cloud. Needless to say, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 excels when it comes to browsing the internet. It is not only fast, but its stock web browser app reacts to our navigation and input very well, without any lag. The web page goes into full screen mode on its own, thus spanning across the entire screen, which is a neat improvement. We also like the so-called reader mode, which clears all unnecessary content, leaving only the text and some images for easier reading of lengthy articles. Whole web pages can be read without having to zoom in, as the screen is detailed enough to display even the smallest of text. All in all, if you do a lot of browsing on your smartphone, then the Note 3 won't disappoint. The Galaxy Note 2 had a very capable main camera and we're expecting its successor to follow suit. On the back of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 we see a 30 megapixel shooter with the mandatory backside illuminated sensor and digital image stabilization. All that is backed by a high color rendering index LED flash. The latter should be capable of producing highly accurate colors when used. We find the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 relatively easy to take photos with as its shape makes it suitable for being held horizontally. The camera app loads quickly and exhibits little to no shutter lag, which is great for capturing events as they happen. All in all, the camera UI looks as it does on other recent Samsungs. It is well laid out with easy to reach settings, menus and instantly accessible shutter keys. Naturally, the experience is enhanced with a number of shooting modes that have been thrown in, including HDR, panorama, burst shot and more. Since the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 unit we're handling is running an early software build, we'd like to restrain ourselves from commenting on its photos in detail. Yet they did turn out pretty good, although we're hoping that the retail unit will capture images with less noise in them, especially indoors. The flash appears to be working fine and we don't see the typical for Samsung devices cold colors when taking photos in low light. The Samsung Galaxy Note 3 goes beyond Full HD. It can record video in 4K resolution, meant to match the native pixel count of those new fancy 4K TVs. And the footage does look pristine, smooth and with tons of detail. The gallery application lists folders containing images on the left side of the screen, while thumbnails of the photos in the highlighted folder are displayed vertically on the right. New folders can be made, allowing one to make their own album. By hovering the S Pen over a given folder, one may get a preview of the images it contains, which is neat. To be honest, we weren't expecting to see anything new upon launching the audio player that is loaded onto the Note 3. And our assumption turned out to be correct. Basically, the handset comes with the same music app we know from the Galaxy S4 and its variations. But that isn't a bad thing, of course. The application is packed with a dozen of useful features, including lock screen controls, a home screen widget, an equalizer with tons of presets, and even voice commands for switching back and forth through the playlist. Furthermore, Samsung has not forgotten to include Adapt Sound for fine-tuning the sound reproduction so that it would best match the user's earphones and hearing. Alternatively, Google's Play Music application is also present for those who prefer that instead. While we are at it, we must mention that the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 has been given support for 24-bit, 192kHz digital recordings, making it one of the very few smartphones capable of reproducing audio of such high resolution. Folks who are really into high-end audio will surely appreciate having this advantage, but we seriously doubt that the average Joe would be affected by it in any way. As the case is with the music player, the video player application we have on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is the same one we've seen numerous times on previous Samsung devices, and we're okay with that. The app works just fine after all and can play back any popular video file format we can think of. Watching videos on the handset's 5.7 inch 1080p screen is a pleasure, as you might expect. High resolution videos are played back flawlessly with no skipped frames or lags when fast forwarding. The built-in single loudspeaker on the Note 3 produces clear tones at loud volume levels and we like that it's positioned on the bottom side of the device, not the back. There is a 3200 mAh battery tucked inside the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, which is a decent capacity for a smartphone of this caliber. It is immovable and can be replaced with a fresh one if exhausted. 
Official numbers regarding its longevity are yet to be announced. The Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is better than last year's model in every way imaginable, which makes it an ideal successor to a popular, easily recognizable smartphone. And it's an awesome smartphone as a whole, as our examination goes to show, combining powerful hardware with tons of software features to attract buyers with. We see great potential in it and we won't be surprised if the handset sells well once it is released. However, while the Galaxy Note 3 easily gets our thumbs up, it leaves us craving for more. What we mean by that is that perhaps Samsung should have innovated further with the Note 3. It should have given it a more resounding wow factor instead of just treating us to the mandatory upgrades in the hardware department sprinkled with a handful of new S Pen features on top. After all, the time when the Galaxy Note stood in a league of its own is now gone. Sure, the Note 3 does seem to be one of the better large screen smartphones to date, but the competition, aiming to grab a bite of the phablet segment, is steadily picking up pace. The Sony Xperia Z Ultra, for example, is a well-made alternative to the Galaxy Note 3 with resistance to water and dust damage. Huawei, on the other hand, has the Ascent Mate, which is definitely cheaper than what the Note 3 will retail for. And if we take a look at the alternatives of slightly smaller caliber, we have the LG G2, which comes with a screen that is nearly as large as the one on the Note 3, and it's just as capable in the hardware department. Thank you for watching our preview of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. To learn more about this great smartphone, check out our website, phonearena.com.